history is a study of the past. A historian is a person who specializes in the study of history. Historians have divided history into three parts, ancient history, medieval history, and modern history. Ancient period starts from the time life began on earth. During this time, humans learned to speak, write, grow their own food, and build houses. The medieval period is also called the Middle Ages. By this time, the humans had already begun to live on large kingdoms. And this is the time we see great kings and explorers that discovered many unknown parts of the world. The modern period refers to the history of recent times. This period extends to the present where many new inventions and ideas have changed the world. There are two main sources of history, archaeological sources and literary sources. Archaeology is the study of ancient remains like monuments, buildings, coins, tools and paintings. An archaeologist is a person who studies archaeology and works at sites buried for years. Monuments are ancient buildings like temples, forts, palaces and pillars built by humans. They give us information about people and society of the past. Example, Taj Mahal, Red Fort, Qutub Minar. Coins are another method to study the past. The study of coins is called numismatics. Information about the ruler, the place, the metals used, the date and language used can be found from the coins. From paintings and sculptures, on the walls and on pillars, we learn about the occupation, dress, lifestyle of people from the past. Example, Buddha's paintings. Paintings that are in Ajanta and Elora. Artifacts like ornaments, tools, pottery made by humans is another method to find out about the past. Fossils are the remains of plants and animals usually found in rocks. Showels and other tools are used to excavate the fossils. The picture here is an example of a dinosaur fossil. Literary sources are the written records, accounts, fiction and non-fiction writings found by historians. Before the use of paper, paper people used to write on palm leaf, bark birch tree and this used to be called manuscripts. Literary sources could be religious or non-religious. Religious ones examples are Vedas, Ramayana, Mahabharata. Non-religious were usually autobiographies which were the life story of a person written by himself. Example, Babar Nama. The story about Babar written by himself. Biography is the life story of a ruler written by someone else. Example, Akbar Nama written by Abul Fazal.